The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II has left all other phones in the dust in terms of speed tests on my channel. However, it doesn't fare too well in an Intuitu benchmark run, so how will it stack up against these six other competitive phones over here in a Geekbench 5 test? We have all phones updated to their latest available software. We have LPDDR5 RAM on all devices over here. We have a couple 120 hertz panel phones, 144 hertz on the Red Magic, a couple 90 hertz and 60 hertz on the Sony. The Sony is the only one left at 4K over here since it can't be changed the rest are all dropped down to full HD plus however this doesn't really matter since most Geekbench 5 runs are actually off screen we're going to leave high performance mode on and we're going to be using an infrared thermal heat gun set to an emissivity level of 0.5 since this is the best setting for electronic devices we have updated the Geekbench apps on all phones to version 5.2 this is a technique and without further ado let's go we're going to start here by checking out the temperatures of all devices over here. We'll compare this at the end after we run the CPU single and multi-core test as well as the Open CL API and Vulkan API GPU tests. We are also checking out the battery percentages here. Once again, we'll compare this in milliamp hours per minute at the end of the test to see which one does better in terms of battery life. We're going to speed things up over here when running the CPU benchmark test for single and multi-core. We're going to speed up all tests, including the GPU test, starting with Open CL over here. This is a compute API to test out the Adreno 650 on all devices and we're also going to speed up a Vulkan over here. Vulkan is more similar to DirectX 12 on PC. Looking at our battery drain over here and we have a 3% battery drain on the S20 Ultra and the Black Shark 3 Pro both matching over there with the best battery drain over there. Also the best 10.7 milliamp hours per minute. The worst is indeed the Oppo with minus 6% and 18.3 milliamp hours per minute. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II didn't do a bad job considering it has a 4K panel. Testing out the temperature on all devices over here now that we have run through all three of the tests that are available on Geekbench you can see that the results have jumped up quite a bit on all devices the hottest phone of the bunch here is the Oppo Find X2 Pro with 56.6 degrees Celsius the coolest is the Samsung with 44.8 degrees Celsius the phone that added the most in degrees Celsius was the Mi 10 Pro adding 5.9 degrees Celsius and the coolest with that wonderful rapid active cooling fan only adding 3.5 degrees Celsius in the Red Magic 5G in terms of actual results when it comes to single core and multi-core the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro came in first place with both of them with 943 points and 3,351 points respectively. In dead last the Oppo Find X2 Pro in single and multi-core with the worst single core result being 657 and the worst multi-core results being 2,097 points. The Sony didn't do terrible though not the best compared to the rest and the Red Magic was a close second over here with the Samsung being a close second to last place. When it comes to the graphics rendering test using OpenCL API computing over here. First place is awarded to the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro once more with 3,369 points and dead last the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. When it comes to the Vulkan API computing graphics rendering test, first place once again gets awarded to the Mi 10 Pro with 3,800 points and a massive jump down the OnePlus 8 Pro. Really surprising here, more than a thousand points lower, 2,848 points for the score of Vulkan on the OnePlus 8 Pro. So to wrap things up, best battery drain and temps is the S20 Ultra. The best CPU, OpenCL and Vulkan computing is awarded to the Mi 10 Pro. Best battery drain as well matching the S20 is the Black Shark 3 Pro and the best temperature gain with the minimal temperature gain that is, is the Red Magic 5G. The worst temperature gain that is, is the Mi 10 Pro. Worst Vulkan API computing result, OnePlus 8 Pro. The worst battery drain, temperatures and CPU is awarded to the Oppo Find X. 2 Pro and last and certainly not least the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II with the worst open CL results. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.